In my new collection, Necessary Deceptions with Main Street Rag Publishing, uh, I write about beliefs that we have that keep us going, even if they may be false. Here's a poem about such a phenomenon called Sometimes in Mid-December. Sometimes in mid-December, there's a break in the gray of Ohio winter. Pale blue sky, angled light that seems to wake the green of grass. Make whole and hail again the blasted barn, red boards bleeding into the yard. Such a day can lift you, fool you, pull you out without a coat, convince you that the crystal berries shining from the Melrose boughs are autumn fruits, that wedges of geese aloft are coming back with tales of southern skies, that December is a fiction, and everything, despite the rising wind, is really all right. This poem is called 50. Home again from school, absent these few weeks and worlds, my daughter took to watching me as if a homely thing gone strange. And after days of smiling, silent thought, proclaimed me elven. By which I hoped she meant in the high elven fortune, ageless. Not a shrunken, sharp-eyed slacker, vexed with treachery and lost gold. I was struck as one who hears his fond delusions trumpeted by angels and preened for three days straight. Elven, yes, for I am half enmeshed in, half removed from life, whole though faded, wondering what is lost and what has grown. Mainly mythical myself, I claim my daughter's vision as my own.